Welcome to Electron Online. The dot plot is kind of like a pseudo bar graph. It also gives you a frequency rating or a frequency accounting of a certain data range or a particular data set. The advantage to a dot plot is that you can immediately graph it from the data without having to manipulate the data first. So let's say we have a raw data set of 19 exam scores and we quickly want to see what that distribution is and what the frequency is for each grade type. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little dot on the graph for every specific score or all 19 exam scores to see which type is most frequent and where the data range kind of falls. So let's do that right here in real time and see what happens. So we'll go, we'll go to the first row, 76, that would be halfway between here. And so we'll put a dot for 76, 86, we'll put another dot, 74, another dot, 84, right here, 82, 68. And I think you begin to see the pattern here, uh, 96, Six, uh, 78, 66. 74, a second one with 74, so we'll put a dot right above there, so we see the frequency right here, one, two, three, on up. 76, uh, that's another duplication, 92, fall right here. Uh, 78, another duplication, uh, 82, 74, 76, 52, 88, that's 86, that's 88 right there, uh, and 68, another 68 right here. All right, so very quickly, you have kind of a pseudo bar graph where you have the frequency, frequency of one, one, two, three, three, two, two, one, and so forth. And you can see where the grades kind of fall, kind of gives you a bit of an idea of that the majority of the grades on the, presumably from a test, fall within the 74 to 78 range right here. A few that are down here, a few that are here, and then of course very few in the very high grade category. But so you can see that very quickly, instead of having to manipulate and count and keep a separate tally of what's going on, you can very quickly just make your graph from a raw data sheet. And that's why the dot plot has a particular advantage if you quickly want to see what's going on with your data. And that is what we mean by a dot plot.